What's up, everybody? I'm Combat. Call me Red. My boy Zing. What's going on? It's my man Cub right there. You know, we want to welcome you to the Combat Cub Podcast, where we're going to reflect on fashion topics. Okay. Combat tech. Yes, sir. Funny videos. Hmm. News around the world. <laughs> Whatever anybody want to reflect on. Sounds good. But enough of me. Let's get to this cast. Christmas. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't say nothing. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Because welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Combat Cub Podcast. You feel me? Mm. The best podcast yes. in all of the Americas. Into where oh yes. Yeah, you know, you know, yes, yes. you know, it's your man Combat, what's up? Always with my right, my right hand man, you know, Cub in the Hola. building. Hola, yeah. And then always in the background, you know, even in season four, we got to let you know mm-hmm. that BB is still on the show. Hello. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Did I tell you this? Wake up. Well, we're going we, to get to this. How was your day? Man. I'm sorry. How was your week? My week? <laughs> it was productive. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Took a week off and uh, mm. got some work done at the house, cutting some brush, burning some brush. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah, all the good shit cutting that I should finger. be helping you do, you know? Yeah. I sent that picture of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> While I was at work. Chopping wood. I really chop wood to make tacos. Yeah. That's fun. I had fun. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. BB, how was your wee week? <laughs> long. Long? It's long and tiring. Damn. Why well, you got to chop wood. <laughs> Stay at home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing. I went more chop wood. I'm good. I'll just go to work. <laughs> Chopping wood is work. No, it was oh, good. Yeah. good. It was a good boy. week. Just long. I thought the week went by pretty damn quick. It was long because it was tiring. I don't think it was long. It was the normal week. Normal week. That was your week? It was cool. It was cool. It went by quick. I'm just mm-hmm. glad the weekend was here. Yeah, same. Same. Hmm. You know, you got to have a drink at the end of the work week to the begin the weekend. Hmm. Bro. That's the reason you were always ready for Friday. <laughs> I stay ready for Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, no. I'm always excited for Friday. I know, right? You could put that drink mm-hmm. in your cup. Mm-hmm. In your mug. Put my drink in my... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. All right, man. What you got for us today? I don't. I got. I got some stuff. Some stuff. Right. You know, it's a little bit of stuff. You know, we're gonna no. show some of the stuff here in just a second. But <laughs> your I face want, is terrible. First, first you I, want, I want to get this off my chest real quick. Why the fuck you keep looking at me like that? Just your faces. <laughs> you leave my faces alone. Okay. You need to shave. Oh man. I love you All anyway. Right, back to the show. <laughs> so I got this video, man. A uh, 11-year-old was crossing the road going to school and got hit by a car, and the car kept going. Wow. Oh, God. It's a hit and run, huh? Hit and run. I would have shot at her. Bat, 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 bat. Man. Was this close by? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, let's play it. 
Here we go. An 11-year-old was hit by an SUV in the crosswalk of a street. The frightening incident was captured on surveillance camera. It shows the boy fall to the ground, but he seems to get up quickly. A woman with her stroller helps the boy, and they walk across no, the street here in North Bergen, New Jersey, together. We're just concerned and really disgusted by the fact that the driver, at not at one, any point, did they ever stop. The boy's parents told WCBS they don't want their son identified, but can't believe the driver never stopped. Take a look again at the video. The SUV yeah. runs the stop sign. Yeah, runs the boy sign. says while he crossed, he thought the car would stop. Now police are looking for the driver of the newer model gray Ford Explorer with New Jersey license plates. It's tinted windows and a slightly tinted windshield. It also has New Jersey license plates. However, they're occluded with that uh, dark plastic cover. The 11 year old mm -hmm. is doing OK. He was taken to the hospital and treated for an eye injury. This is Inside Edition Digital. Yeah. Bro, that's felony eluding, hit and runs a felony, like How leaving the scene of an accident. That's felony. That whoever that is just racked up a gang of charges, bro. <laughs> How could you hit a kid and just keep going? Right? What the fuck would you doing to make you run a stop sign and not pay attention anyway? Get off that motherfucker! Bump. I would have had to at least stop. Yeah. And check on that kid. <clears throat> right. I had to. American ain't American no more. Hell no. Nah. It ain't. But it ain't. It'll get there. Mm. We'll, we'll, we'll get back. Like we'll two get Americans would have stopped and checked on that kid. <laughs> well, I mean, but there's I think a lot there's of reasons a... to that, though. You know, no license, no insurance. I don't give a shit. Car not registered, <clears throat> car could be stolen. Okay, well, then, oh well. Or just another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one oh down, God. another one bites the dust. Yeah. Mm, really? Mm, mm, huh? Really? Mm, really? Mm, mm, I mean, mm, there's some people that think like that. Mm, mm, oh, we got another one. Mm, 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 mm. That's messed up. Just because he's, you know, yeah, young black kid. <clears throat> huh? There's another one. Mm. Got one down. Mm. But this next video. And not not trying sad. to be mean. I'm glad I went the woman in the stroller because I'd probably chase that damn car down. Then we got shot at. Man. I would have probably chased that car down, but like you need to fucking stop. Well, <laughs> I mean, not saying they would have stopped, but well, I don't think I would have just stood there. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, your mommy I, reaction kicks in. Well, I think that things have gotten better when it comes to people, and especially like how society considers children, is because I remember talking to my grandparents about how it was. Well, they were young black kids then, but. She was like, they didn't care about us at all. And my granddad was even telling me, or my dad was telling me about um, some of the um, ways older, how it was back in the old, back in the day, <clears throat> my granddad's day, you know, that was the 20s, 30s. So, <clears throat> you know, of course they didn't care anything about black people, but just people in general, um, it was a harder time. So unless you were a part of somebody's family, you were just, you know. Nobody. Collateral damage. Because wow. it was just, you know, just the value of people was probably, uh, was based on my granddad's, uh, you know, just telling us how, how it was. You know, it was worse then. <laughs> it just. That's crazy. The worth of people was. Mm, That's sad. Yeah. But um, a lot of people are like, well, we used to be, you know, like in the movies, uh, you know, cowboy days and this, that, and, and the third. I was like, well, even then, you had to be family or mm -hmm. a really close-knit community for, for those like, you know, Mayberry or all those types of days. Um, they were usually cliques, but outside of that clique, mm, pregame, yeah. you know, so... Mm -hmm. uh, Things have gotten better over the years, for sure, when it came to uh, human rights and, you know. Oh, yeah, we can tell with all these protests. It's mm. been going on for a long time. Yeah. Our history isn't nice. Mm, no, mm. it ain't. But, um. Kids is my soft spot. That's my soft spot, I'm telling you. I would have chased that car down. Mm. I'm not saying they would have stopped, but I, I don't know. I, couldn't, I don't think I could have just... I don't think they would have. Do she really have a soft spot, though? <laughs> I do. 
<laughs> when it comes to kids. That is a question. Hmm. Y'all are dying miles. I am not that mean. Hmm. Oh, God. I'm not that mean. I mean, I was on the yard yesterday, you know, at school, and they was like, hey, BB, she, she a bully. I am I not a like, bully. What? She was like, yeah, you took my lunch money. I'm like, what? Oh, man. My like, hell, let me for hide the, my last 35 cent I got. You feel me? Bro, for real? I know, bro. She's running through niggas' pockets. And taking your stuff. I believe that. <laughs> no, I'm just She's going to reach into the wrong pocket and grab some fent now. <laughs> and it's going to be a wrap. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. We were watching this thing. It was the border, whatever, patrol thing. Oh, um. Uh, and oh uh, my yeah, gosh. Border, so they yeah. they had sent this big old shipment. Contraband of seized at the border, so it was called. What yeah. was it? Contraband seized at the border. Yes. What does that mean? Border between Texas and Mexico. Like they pretty much them watching the border when the trucks come through. They like x ray the trucks to make sure they're carrying illegal stuff and blah blah blah. Mm. Well, these people had these candles. And they thought they were gonna get them through because they had changed them to a different color. Well, they found them. There was twenty, no forty. No, there was eight hundred and forty-three uh, candles. Candles all together, but there was what sixty of them. Yeah, sixty had fentanyl yeah, had in fentanyl. them. Mm-hmm. But the way they did it, where they like put it in this thing, they, they were smart with it. They had like a box with gloves, they made and they it, busted it, it open. It. But they made the fentanyl. Put the package while they waxed it around inside the candle. It was wow. crazy. It was crazy. Well, cartel well, smart man. Well, why why are they sending fentanyl though? Bro, it's the cartel, bro. They send fentanyl. Uh, and so they use trucks and use big shipments and stuff to try they, to cover it up to get it through. Same episode. Mm. They uh. It's crazy. <clears throat> I never in my life. I was like, how in the hell did they do that? But they did. Look, same episode, right? They had a trailer already parked. Excuse me. And you know how you got the back of it, and then you got the little grooves at the bottom because mm-hmm. all the way to the back. Full of freaking meth, boy. See, I mean, over six point six million dollars worth. I'm be honest, I wouldn't want to be a police officer. Wow, I wouldn't want to be a drug dog. I wouldn't want to be none of that because that literally, be that thing can done. kill you if you touch it. It can kill you. Mm. Not all people does it kill like that. It makes them really sick, but that stuff can like kill you on contact. Mm. And that, just knowing that much fentanyl was inside them candles. Jesus. And you wouldn't have never known it. Like, like just looking at it, you would have never known that there was fentanyl on that shit. So say, like, some of that would have busted or something. That could have killed all kinds of people. Mm. Yeah, they had to literally open the package up inside of a secret, one of them little, little boxes. boxes with the gloves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was that bad. Wow. Because at first I was like, what is this man doing yeah, once with he, this candle? Once he realized it was fentanyl, his, his hands come out them gloves, and he called for hazmat. <laughs> yep, he didn't do nothing else. He was like, I ain't messing mm-hmm. with him. And come to find out, all the ones that was a different color had the fentanyl in it. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. It was marked. They knew what they were doing. <clears throat> so what do they do? They just uh, ship it that way, and then like once it gets to where it's going, they take it out and do whatever they're going to do with it? Yeah, once once it gets over the border, it's like, poof, it's gone. It can go here, there, there, there. Because, you know, coming out of Texas, you got major highways, at all the states. So, you gotta, yeah. I mean, troopers be, I mean, they be trying to be on the look. I'll be watching uh, Live PD, and they be on the side, side of the highway and shit, just waiting on, you know, suspicious cars and, you know, whatever. But, mm, not, my, not, my, not my cup of tea. I couldn't, I, just, be a, I couldn't be a I drug trafficker. Be, I couldn't be one of the people. Just to know you accidentally pull somebody over and search their car and you could die. But damn, you know, if you made meth for the cartel, you they pay you 10 grand you a crazy. week. A but week. meth blows up, it's blowing everything up. Yeah, that's fine. That's some good ass money, though. You crazy. Mm-hmm. You by yourself. Go on a vacation for a month. We got to get a divorce. <laughs> you start doing that. <laughs> I come back balling, boy. Jeez. Come yeah. back two hundred and fifty thousand. I've just never understood why people want to put chemicals like that in their body. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to be the cause of k- killing people, unless it's for the good reasons. Not yeah, the yeah. What? Can you cash out me fifteen dollars? And oh, I'm thinking, girl, cash you cash. got money at home. All right, whatever. But um, <laughs> got another video I'm gonna show you. Okay, y'all know me, man. You know safety number one, especially in a household. All right, when you sleep, you know, doors is locked. You know, me, I keep a gun loaded. Well, this homeowner had three people bust down his door. 
and was trying to rob him. And mm. this is what happens when you fuck with a patriot with, that got guns. Uh-oh. Some nail-biting video as three men approach a house. They claim to be police, but they weren't. Cops say they were actually yeah, would-be home invaders trying to break in. They were armed, but so was the homeowner. Zamra Cagliano reports that led to a shootout. It's a home invasion. They suck. But these masked gunmen are about <laughs> to get a nasty surprise from the homeowner. Oh, yeah. The drama erupted at a home outside Seattle. When I saw the video for the first time, I was completely blown away. I just couldn't believe what I was watching. First, the bad guys try to fool the resident into opening up by posing as cops. Seattle police. They push up against the door and try to kick it in. But they're not prepared for what happens when the door gives way. One invader hits the deck as the homeowner fires through the outer glass door. All three suspects mm -hmm. take off running. <coughs> was this self-defense or will he be charged? Right now, it does look like this will be a self-defense situation. We obviously don't encourage people to start shooting at people, but we understand that there is a right and a need to protect your property when called for. The homeowner says the suspects kept firing at them as they ran away. A neighbor reported they heard more than 20 shots. Shit, they would have heard more than that yeah. fucking with me. <laughs> they would have been like, it sounded like little Iraq. <laughs> well, don't try to rob somebody. Right? Claiming you the police with, with a jumpsuit on and a mask. That's what nigga, I was come thinking. on. It's like, really? <laughs> Wow, what do, police is These niggas don't think. Do, do they not know every American got a camera somewhere? If it's if a camera uh, placed on top of their house or, you know, uh, where they can see the front and shit, or one of them damn ring doorbell things, mm. bro. Like, there's cameras ever, CCTVs everywhere. <laughs> People are stupid. Oh, yeah. That's, that's crazy, man. I'll tell you one thing, that door must have been real hard. You can tell they what, bro, come on. The police would have got through there the first bone. Oh, yeah. Like that guy hit that door at least three times with his shoulder. <laughs> yep. His homeboy almost got he his just, face took off, though. That was yeah. the one that was bouncing off the door, I think. No, that was the, the skinny one that kicked the door in. He about got his face blowed off. <laughs> well, the one hitting the door, bless his That's heart. what he get, though. <laughs> I wish he would have got hit. Mm. I thought at first it shot him right in the head. Oh, that would have been great. That's what I thought. That would have been perfect footage, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> no more houses to rob, buddy. You're done. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. I don't know, man. I guess people are just really... They don't care. Uh, They're desperate, maybe. I don't I'm know. desperate. I ain't got my freaking bait, man. Left it at the house. <laughs> I, need to blow, I need to blow smoke. I ain't got no smoke to blow. Oh, no. Good, because that cough sounds terrible. We need to stop vaping. Who, I ain't got no I ain't got no cough. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, uh, yes, you don't do. Don't be telling my personal stuff on here. Okay? Well, you don't need to vape, so I'm just saying you're good. I'm just saying. Don't be saying my personal stuff. I ain't got a cough. <laughs> Jojo, you need to call in right now. He blooped me. He blooped me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh my god! <sighs> That's terrible. I think it's. I think it's a handy tool. I think Very that handy. thing sucks. Can I use it? No. No, bloop y'all. <laughs> this, this is red show. Good, yeah. let me bloop him. This no. is Red Show. Mm -mm. Bloop. Mm -mm. Which I really, that bloop or me? Huh? Bloop. Yeah, I think you want that. I don't want <laughs> nothing. I'm a Christian. Mm -mm. God's going to strike him. <laughs> don't, hey, don't, uh, don't show that one. Okay. You got another one? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so an update on Kindle. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Can we can we talk about your shirt we found first? No. What? No, we will not talk about <laughs> that. Okay, go ahead with your Kindle. Found. Go ahead. That was a cute hoodie. Well, Kindle gonna melt his ass, so he ain't gonna be on one no more. 
Well, Kendall, she's uh, she's normal. She's she's good. She's safe. She's not normal. She's safe. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Um, Mm-mm. I didn't I didn't invite her to my uh, birthday party. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I invited her to my fortieth birthday party. Well, I won't be at that birthday party. We'll have birthday. you one a different day. <clears throat> what day is that one gonna be? Huh? What day is your birthday party? Um, I have a birthday party just for Kendall and me. Okay, as long as it's just y'all two, because uh, we're we having oh, a different oh, birthday that's party. <clears throat> that's that birthday sex. Birthday <laughs> sex. Gonna get electrocuted. And he's gonna get melted. <laughs> oh, man, I did a check on old Karina Wayne. Yeah? In her winter fashion. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh really? There's no way she she must have never been to Tennessee in the winter. It's skirts and shit, because, baby. Yeah, you need some pants, skirts, bro. That's that's still fifty degrees, sixty degrees clothes right there. We're talking about twenty, twenty five, ten degrees. You know, man. Layers, yeah, the icicles. layers at the layers. No, all her clothes is summer clothes. Oh my gosh. She don't have no winter clothes. Well, it, te- it technically it Maybe. said winter. The best clothes to get, though, for the winter for women is Sperry boots. That's it? That ain't clothes. Them are shoes. Well, Sperry boots will keep you warm. <laughs> Your whole body? I to order her pair because she wore mine. Your whole, so them Sperry boots, you're telling me them Sperry boots going to keep your whole body warm? Well, most of the time, if your feet's warm, you're good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. well, you didn't got nothing to say. I don't. <laughs> I'm speechless at that hour. <laughs> oh, you need to put that on a calendar. Who the fuck still uses calendars? I got one on my phone. That's not about the only calendar you got. <laughs> okay, you can write notes in your calendar on your phone. Mm, I don't. That's too much. Too much work. I'll oh, my on, gosh. No, I, it isn't. Y'all are lazy. I'll store them up here, <laughs> and then after 48 hours, they erase. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing okay. funny about that. Uh, them 30 brain cells I bought from eBay, I might got like one or two left. Mm. So you might you might be looking at like less than 24 hours something stay up here. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's crazy, huh? Yeah. I know. Wow. Hey, loco in the cabeza, huh? Mm. Just a little bit, you know? Mm. All right. The Israel and the U.S. and all that shit, shit going on. Let's let's listen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Israel. Here we go. The president's speech came after a U.S. warship took action to defend Israel, intercepting multiple cruise missiles and drones off the coast of Yemen amid fears of a wider war. Our chief global affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is live from the Red Sea in Eilat, Israel, with more. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Juju. We are right on the shores of the Red Sea. U.S. warships are just south of us. Those missiles from Yemen were aimed in this direction, but a U.S. guided missile destroyer took no chances. They shot them down. This morning, rising tensions after a U.S. Navy destroyer shot down three cruise missiles and several drones launched by Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. For the first time, the U.S. taking military action to defend Israel. The Pentagon saying the missiles were launched from Yemen northward, potentially towards Israel. We cannot say for certain what these missiles and drones were targeting, but they were launched from Yemen, heading north along the Red Sea, potentially towards targets in Israel. These missile launches come as the U.S. is bolstering its firepower in the region, (laughs) a second carrier strike group soon joining U.S. warships already in the Mediterranean, and additional fighter aircraft also being sent, all meant as a deterrent. By posturing these U.S. naval assets and advanced fighter aircraft in the region, we aim to send a strong message intended to deter a wider conflict to bolster regional stability and, of course, to make it clear that we will protect and defend our national security interests. The Houthi rebel leader had Houthi. just warned the U.S. I last I week at the gas against station. intervening hmm? in the Hamas. I've just seen that dude at the gas station. <laughs> Israeli conflict, threatening missile and drone strikes. 
The U.S., of course, hoping this is a deterrent, this use of force. But clearly, there is no guarantee. Rebecca? No guarantees with those stakes Rebecca? so very high. Martha, thank you. <laughs> no. She said it. That wasn't me. I didn't say shit. I just repeated it. Oh, okay. Just make it sure. Oh, okay. I can't get it right. Yeah, so what What did you want to, I guess, point out with, with all this? <clears throat> What I wanted to point out with all this mm -hmm. is that we shot down their damn missiles that were heading towards Israel. So basically, we just put our foot in the front door of this war. Mm. Mm. Okay, so so making that move. And we, we got boots on ground, too. Huh. They're, they're going to get the Americans out one way or another. And that's death if it got to be, you know. And if they got to kill somebody, <clears throat> somebody to get them out, they're going to kill somebody to get them out. Interesting. Because they already done killed Americans already. You don't need no more Americans to die in this war. Hmm. Just like I said, man, just like I said, go over there, handle the, handle the wax, you know, get the Americans out, then take your ass home. You know, let them handle their own hmm. shit. But, right. you know, they all clicked up with the whole NATO thing, you know. So, got to help defend. Mm -mm. <laughs> of course, you're going to say, mm mm. mm, -mm. That's why you get. That's why you get blooped out. <laughs> what? No, what I'm saying is, ain't none of this our business. The United States always putting their nose in somebody else's business. You know why, right? I'm mm. thinking it's to keep Biden out of office. I mean, Trump out of office. Because if you got a war going on, then you have to keep the president in the office. The election there. doesn't matter until the war's over. Yep. Oh wow. Just blew your fucking mind, huh? No, I mean, I've heard of that strategy, but I didn't think uh, about not, applying it to this situation. Oh, you know, Biden would use everything to try to keep Trump out of office, like trumping them with charges. So me and a friend of mine the other day was <clears> talking <throat> about this, and he, she said that one time, and she don't get into politics either. I mean, she votes, but she don't really get into politics. And she said that one time he was making a speech, and if you pay real close attention, it basically says that he was born in Israel. Huh? What does that mean? That Biden was born there. Like in a part of his speech, you can hear him. I don't know personally. I haven't heard it. Born where? In Israel. Israel. Oh. And so it's like, hmm, wouldn't that make sense? Because hmm. all that's going on with them. And I'm like, it's really not got nothing to do with us. It well, if you... If he's born in, born in Israel, how is he president? Exactly. That's exactly. What, but she said what it was is it's almost like it was a mumble type thing. Almost like he didn't mean to say it. Like it just come out. You got oh. motherfuckers wasn't even born in the United States that's running this country. Like, I'm going to be on, honest bro. with you. I feel like it doesn't matter who you vote for. <clears> they already know who they're putting in that office. Almost sound like a school to me. Bring in a different principal. So, so they are just bringing in a different principal. Don't know what the fuck. Because everybody doing. talked bad about Obama. Don't know shit about the school. Don't know shit about the school. But he's gonna be the principal of it. That's like this problem. Don't know shit about the country. But you're gonna try to run it. Come on. I think that's most you know people in politics. They, I mean, you know, this is our elected officials are elected for the people by the people, but they don't identify with any of the issues that the people. have. <laughs> Go yeah. through, because most most are born into money, mm -hmm. um, and it's like I don't know of any that are that worked their way up. You know, really, um, they've always had access in some way to to money. You know, and so it's like the rules don't. You know, they don't see rules as we do. You know. They probably would see rules to be broken or, circum or circumvented. Um, and it's just... You know, they think they privilege. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the average household income, I think is 40000 a year. Mm. And if, you know, a representative, you know, comes into office and they're, make, they're a multimillionaire already, how do they identify with someone who makes that much money? You know, Somebody forty don't. grand a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, can't relate. Really, yeah, they can't. So, mm -hmm. I think that's interesting. So, 
Like I said, whatever. I don't know how true that is about the Biden thing. Mm-hmm. But my friend really was talking about that and said it was almost like just an accident that it come out. Like it wasn't meant to come out. And I'm sorry, I've been saying for the longest that I think Biden is just a puppet for oh, the government. Oh, but all them liberals in California just wanted this nigga in the office. I'm not oh, trying, and, and I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to be ugly. I don't vote, so I don't really have a right to say anything because I don't vote for anybody. But I do think Biden's the worst president we've ever had. Mm. Why don't you? Oh, there's, there's other presidents that was worse than I mean, Biden. I've never seen our groceries be as high as they are now. Yeah, now that's fucking I've sucks. never they seen our much. gas get as high as it's been. Like, it has been ridiculous. It's almost oh, been like they don't want you to live. Can you tell? It went down since we went over there to go help Israel. It's, it's, it's at 298, right? 297. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Soon as we soon as we send ships over there, gas start going. So how does down. that make any sense? I'm telling you, it's all it a, it's all a conspiracy. It all, it's a it's a conspiracy. I mean, you just it makes you think a lot. Hmm. It could be this, it could be that. They could do this, they could be doing that. It's a conspiracy. Nine eleven conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our own government did that shit. Hmm. Well, Bigfoot real though. Yeah, Bigfoot real. real. Yeah, I've been I've been seeing a lot of YouTube shorts, people flying drones and seeing this big ugly motherfucker. Well, if they see him, why won't you shoot him? That's a paycheck, and then you could be up there with the you know the multi millionaires. You won't have to worry about that forty thousand a year income. Yeah, because we finna get something coming in. Like, it ain't gonna mm. make you happy. It's gonna just make you think you're snooty. Uh-huh. Snooty for killing Bigfoot? If you're that rich. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get my money. Shit, I'm gonna do that, man. I don't want to. Shit, if I was rich, I'd be the same person I am right now. Okay, well, I'll be on the G6 partying while you doing the same thing you're doing right now. Oh, so he said that he wouldn't be on the podcast no more, bro, if he was rich. No, What's wrong the, with that? the podcast gonna be on the G6. In the air, Ooh, you would still be get, doing what you're doing get right good now. Wi-Fi connection up there, boy, because we'd be hella high up. <laughs> we get some good Wi Fi. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Mm-mm. No, internet be booming. How high you is by 45,000? <laughs> <000? laughs> she gonna be in the kitchen doing dishes. You know, you're gonna just hear the helicopter take off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doing you, dishes. Where you going? Miami. <laughs> I'm going You better through. go use a damn paper plate or something. <laughs> Doing no more damn dishes. Oh no. Doing you better dishes. give me a housekeeper. <laughs> oh man. Who? So you're telling me you're gonna be rich and I still gotta be the housekeeper. I mean, you say you're gonna still be doing what you be doing. That's what you said. I said what we're doing right now. What are we doing right now? Not a damn thing. <laughs> you ain't doing a podcast. We're doing a podcast. What are we doing on the podcast? Fucking off. Why she got to use such language on this show, <laughs> though, know. man? I'm about know. tired of her potty mouth, though. Oh, don't get me started <laughs> with you. Well, I'm tired of her damn mouth. Oh, my God. But that mouth be good, though. You're stupid. <laughs> that ain't funny. That ain't funny at all, babe. I'm serious. Lord. <laughs> Lord. Oh, God. <clears throat> well, I think that's interesting how, you know, uh, I mean, if that's true, that the strategy is that, you know, go to war close to the end of the term just to be able to keep, um, you know, a person in office. That's interesting. It's messed up. Um, or we can always assassinate. Not me though. I, I won't do that. I don't assassinate presidents. Well, I mean, it. It's sad because if they know that um, Donald Trump has an advantage of getting back in office, that says a lot because it's like it says that whoever is pulling, really pulling the strings, doesn't want the American people to make their own choices. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, herald the idea of freedom and, you know what I mean? 
So uh, that's a, a sobering thought right there. They're trying to do something like that so that people cannot make their own choice. Yeah. It's uh, <coughs> very interesting. I mean, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, because I've always said this. I've always said this. I have no problem with somebody who's... Oh, oh you keep going, bro. Keep going. I have, I have no problem with someone who might be racist or um, hates people or well, I don't know what else to say. I don't have a problem with them because I know where they're coming from. I have a problem with people who do all of this virtue signaling, you know, try to put on that people that they're good or they're nice or they're right or not right, but like, you know, just great people. And, you know, you don't know what you're dealing with with them, at least with the person who is like racist or something like that. You know where they're coming from. You know what to expect. But someone else who is just, you know, oh, you know, smile on your face. Um, and then you turn around trying to cut your head off. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's life. So. But people well, that's like life, that. but people really I would like rather face an enemy that I know what I'm dealing with than someone. I would rather say. That you think you can trust him and you can't. Fuck Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Who? What? Crazy. Go what? What happened? Are you hearing? We were talking about trusting people. Are you hearing right? things again? Like people you trust back. What are you talking you. about? That's what brother was talking about. Are you what you talking about? That's are you not what I was talking about. Yes, it I, is. I know she was hearing not trusting stuff, bro. people. No, I would rather deal with but someone, a person that you trust. No, that's not what I said you, at all. It would hurt you a lot worse. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> Basically. Nope. Not even basically. Not even yes. close. Yes. It would be easier no. if if you knew that person didn't like you and you were nope. facing a head that's on. That's not what I said. Than somebody that you knew. <laughs> nope. That's not what I said. Basically, yes, the hell it is. Nope. Yes. Mm -mm. Don't break me. I'm saying this. I would rather deal with a Hitler than with someone who says that they're good. Just to be able to get you to let your guard down. That's what I'm saying. You just just different terms. I you thought Hitler that, was cool. You use that high he was up front. terms. He was up front in what he believed. I don't Trump. like what he did, but I like that he was up front with what he believed. You know what you're dealing with. I like, that's why I like Trump. I'm not comparing the two, but that's a characteristic I appreciate in people. He's like, I don't didn't like you. I'm like, oh. I know where he stands. <laughs> Not somebody over here, you know, that, that's really good with words, elegant with their words and their speech, and they're tearing you down word by word by word beautifully. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how do I how do I deal with that person? Slap the shit out of him. It's hard. But it's like, <laughs> but one of those type of people, they're good at getting all the people around you on their side while they're still... Macerate, I mean, just tearing you to yeah. pieces. And then the people, and they're so good at talking and their thing that the people around you agree with them. And, and I'm like, man. They got brainwashed. Yes. They're <laughs> master manipulators. Brain. There's so wash. many people out there like that now, but mm -mm. there's not a lot of people that are just blunt force. I don't like you. I would kill you if I had a chance. It's like, I know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> yeah. Let's suit up. <laughs> I will follow you, buddy. <laughs> yes. And it's just, there's not many people like that anymore. Everybody wants to look pretty and good. and Be cool. Yes. They want to be cool. Now, you don't know where they're coming from. And then you see them <clears throat> shooting up schools three weeks later. You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. You right. That's gross stuff scary. <sighs> That's so sad. Yeah, it is. That's gross cool stuff. real sad. So... Yeah, that's cool stuff, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, got that. If I can find this video, I want to. I got another one, man, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it though. Oh, do you ever save them to your phone? Mm -mm. Yeah, I have to do that whenever I find them. 
Because you'll lose it. Yeah. Not to ever find it again. Mm-hmm. So much stuff on on online these days. It's just oof, it really so is, though. much. Some of it's crazy stuff. Yeah. But I mean, some of it's good. You some know? of it's good stuff. Yeah. Now some of it's just crazy shit. Yeah. Like oh my gosh, what's up with that? Like there's stuff where people eating on YouTube. Huh? It's like. I remember Aaliyah used to get on YouTube and watch this Chinese girl eating food. It'd just be the craziest noises ever. It's good to watch. It'd be like all that satisfying. <laughs> what in the hell is satisfying about hearing somebody eat? Because, you know, she's getting her eats on, so it's satisfying it's to know. Satisfying. It's awesome to know that she's getting, you know, all you eat? hear is like the slurping of the noodles. I'm like, that is not satisfying. If you don't tell her to stop smacking while she eating, this is what it reminded me of. Well, that I think that's a cultural thing though too. That's one of the things they do. Is it uh, like Jap- Japanese? So that's just something they do. Mm-hmm. Just slurp and just, but it's but it's they're just used the to it. It's just mm-hmm. how they eat. Yeah. But, to so, me, it's like, why are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah. But like, why would you just watch that? Well, I mean, I'm happy for her because she, I mean, she's she's getting that food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish I was eating some of that stuff. It looked good. Leah used to really <laughs> do that, and I'm like, why are you watching that? Like, that is weird. First of all, I wouldn't put a video of me. All right, look, I sent anyway. you this video, bro. This is this is it's oh, funny. This here is here we go. How different branches handle the way of a shotgun. Is this it? No, nah, it's loading up. Okay. It's a good copy. Yeah, this dude be having me cracking up. And this would be the this be the last one. Y'all going home after this? Yeah, going to the. Are we? Well, I gotta, I gotta holler at my <clears throat> my brother first. Ten four. I didn't know if you were gonna be. Shotgun's um, about to be. I didn't know if you were gonna be. Um, um hitting up the uh, uh, Call of Duty. Oh yeah, I'm sure I will. Um, before, before we go, so, so I'm just gonna see if you were because uh, I was gonna jump on on COD before uh, later today. And uh, so I gotta resize this here. Boom! Yeah, it's interesting <laughs> doing this stuff here. All right, ready? I'm ready. Be crazy, bro. Damn. That's the army. Oh, it kicks so hard. <laughs> we do it one handed, like sideways, like this. Yeah. I can handle it, okay? This ain't even that big. This is a small one? Oh, okay, cool. I'm not scared of it. <laughs> Shotgun's about to be crazy, bro. Damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what <laughs> the marine one? I was like, "Yeah, it's Niz right there." It's like, <laughs> what? Come on, dude! I watch all almost all everything he posts on YouTube, man. It's <laughs> a bunch of shorts he posts. This shit is funny, dude. <laughs> like, he's hilarious. There was That's one. Uh, uh, the marine was sitting at the kitchen table eating, crank chewing on the crayon. And the Air Force dude come in, running his mouth about something. Then a little Navy dude come in with his little yellow bow in his head, little barrette. I was like, and his little short short, I was like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on in this kitchen? It's crazy, man. You got to watch it. That's funny. They keep me going for 30 minutes when you're on break. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. No, nothing like that, washing that chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah. With that ahead. dishwashing you liquid. You ain't going put no Dawn on your chicken before you cook it? So that's how I'm going to start where I said, if somebody washes their chicken like that, I'm not eating at that house. They'll kill that salmonella. salmonella. That is terrible. That Be bitch gone. just kept washing that chicken <laughs> for like 30 minutes. She was washing that chicken with that Dawn dishwashing liquid. Who does that? That is now. I bet that chicken tastes just like Dawn dishwashing liquid. <laughs> oh, no. White people. <laughs> okay, well. I'm no, 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 not, and I not, ain't no, doing that. No, like suburb white people. Um, like, that's like, like white, white suburb. You know, the white whites, suburb. <laughs> yeah, the white whites. You know, they don't no. let the niggas in the gate. Mm-mm. Oh, 
Them niggas wash their chicken with Dawn. I bet that tastes like I'm going like to right I'm gonna call the poison hotline. I ever see some shit like that. And then Sister Girl say, well, that's how we're going to wash our chicken from now on, girl. I ain't eating no more chicken. <laughs> shit, I'm calling the poison hotline quick as hell. Wow. Ma'am, that's interesting. What does Dawn dishwashing like with us, your chicken, when you wash it? Ma'am, please tell me. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll kill you. You put some Dawn on some chicken. Don't be ruining that bird hell. Wow. <laughs> throw that motherfucker anyway, off Anyway, I just had to throw that up there. Brother, you think your chicken needs to be washed with Dawn dishwashing like what? No. <laughs> and and I grew up vegan, so I no. No. Right. Well, I did, and I still like washing my chicken with our Dawn dishwashing like what? No. Uh, I say we try it. I say no. you're by yourself. I, I mean, like, even vegetables from the garden, you don't wash them with soap. No, you yeah. just rinse. Yeah. Water. Just rinse them off. Water. Ranch them off. With ranch, ranch them off. Them off. Ranch Turn ranch. around and ranch just that. Just ranch around and ranch it off. Just ranch it off. That's like, what does that mean, Grandma? It means go rinse it what off. Do you mean? <laughs> just ranch around and ranch it off. <laughs> And then put it up right there. Uh-huh. No, not right it, there. Next uh, to that one right there. Yeah, that's that's right there. Right there. Yeah, that's good, honey. Stop playing. Go, go ahead and hand me your orange juice out the little refrigerator right there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's true, though. I ain't got nothing else. You got anything? No. You sure? I think. You sure? Maybe. Like, well, all that shit that be going bouncing around in that skull of yours, you ain't got neither. I don't think so. Okay, all right then. We're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Go ahead and cut her mic off real quick. Oh God! Uh, you got anything else? <laughs> no, sir. Sure don't. Well, look, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Tell your peoples, man. Look, we are on Spotify, all platform, all that good stuff. All right. She man, kind back. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, got my boy Cub over here. Hold up. Got BB in the back. Yeah. We out. Yeah. You can't ballroom dance to this. I don't know. I'm ballroom dancing. Wait, cut. We be crit walking. There you can. Yeah, I could. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shoot, yeah. <laughs> hey, hold up before you do it. Leave in the comments if you think that uh, Cub can ballroom dance to that last track we just played. <laughs> I want to see the shit too. <laughs> I can make it work. All right, y'all. We out. Deuces. Kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs>